We started off the first night, 11 o'clock, the search. I went over to the school, started calling all the parents and the kids to find out if anybody had saw anything or he went home maybe with one of the kids. After we finalized every single kid that is not in their houses, we started searching, calling all the residents in Borough Park and putting loudspeakers to try to find out, to try to find them. I started myself with a friend of mine, a search on my own, because I saw the cameras one o'clock in the middle of the night from the school that the kid went out towards the left, towards 13th Avenue, 44th Street. Corner, 15th Avenue, went into the locksmith. We waited 20 minutes for the owner to come. We saw the cameras. My son is the teacher from the kid, so I called him over. We saw the kid walking, like making with his hands up and down and walking, and it turned in an angle. We saw the glasses with his face under the air, exactly what we were looking. My son says 100% that's a student. We went back to 44 on Day Hill, where we're in now. That's Wheels to Lease. I brought a technician to open up the cameras here, and actually, we saw the kid passing, going to 18, going back like he's lost, back and forth. And then we saw somebody walking by, the kid following, we opened another camera, we saw him going to the car with that perp. And then we searched again the cameras, we saw that he went into a White House, that is a, a dentist, that the detective starts to search from there. We gave him all the evidence, and from there they found exactly that he came to pay a bill, they had his credit card, from there they had a lead to 7-Eleven, that they had again a picture, and they saw the kid in the car, they had his address, and that's how they made the bust in his house. The whole time we were going, we were feeling we're going to get him alive. We went on and on and on, and I have not one kid, I have a big family, I have 12 kids. And I'm sure we're going to have to answer to all the kids in different ways. They should know exactly what happened, but to watch them, not to talk to strangers. At the funeral, everybody was crying, because I visualized what happened, and I saw the body like in front of my eyes, and we all cried. Because we all have children, and we all visualized that what's able to happen to anybody.